Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video I'm going to be doing a run through on the parts that we have got for Bryce's RB20 build. I'll be doing a quick run through on each individual part, um, why we got the part, how much they cost and then do a total kind of cost at the end. So um, yeah we'll get stuck straight into it and start going through some bits and pieces. So right out of the back we've got the Franklin Engineering out of New Zealand. They actually make a RB20-25 heater hose delete kit. And all this does is runs from the little, there's kind of a feeding point on the back of the head, or back of the block, um, on the same side as the thermostat. And then coming out of where the thermostat attaches to, you've got a press-in fitting. And then from there, that all feeds to the heater. So um, when I say to the heater, I mean the two kind of plastic pieces that go through to the firewall. So that all attaches to there. All of Bryce's lines were all full of rusty flakes and nasty water, so obviously having a fresh motor, we don't want all that going back through the motor, so went for this kit. It cost about $120, $130 delivered to the door from New Zealand. That was directly through their website. Comes with a little section of braided line and a heap of fittings. Um, what I'll do is I'll quickly assemble those just by hand and then lay it out just so you can get a rough idea of what I'm talking about. Um, and just to make things crystal clear, I'll just pop a photo up on screen now on what the kit actually looks like on a motor. So that should give you a bit of an idea. And um, yeah, I'll quickly lay these fittings out and you can have a look, see what it looks like. So imagining that this braided hose was straight and didn't have a bend in it, that goes from the block outwards through the hose and then to the connection that goes into the side of the thermostat housing. And obviously you would have seen how that looks in that photo previously. So that's all it is, very cool kit, um, has all the fittings there all ready to go. Like saying, about 120, 130 bucks delivered to your door, so it's a very, very cheap kit and super, super easy to install. Um, obviously you'll see that in the next video when I go through and start installing all of these parts, so um, obviously stay tuned for that. But that's the first part to start off this list. Very, very cool part, super happy with what we've got so far. Um, we'll move on to the next bit. So next thing we've got in the box is a genuine coil pack harness from Kudos Motorsports. I'd have to check, but this was about $180 or $190 brand new. And if you remember, when I first started pulling the motor out, uh, well apart, not out, I pulled the loom off and the coil pack loom stood up on its end. It was so old, everything was ready to crack apart. All the plugs were nasty and broken and falling apart. So thought this was just gonna be the best option to go. Um, obviously being brand new, all the plugs are gonna be nice. Everything's gonna to go together nicely and we won't have any um, spark related issues, um, at least relating to that harness. So that part there I told Bryce was very important considering how Oh, how bad shape his other one was in so um, yeah that's the second part and move on to the next one so got the usual parts if you're doing a, a head gasket job opted for ARP head studs and for the people who are interested there's your part number there if you wanted to get the same studs um, from memory these are the same that I used I might have used a slightly stronger variant uh, but as far as I know exact same studs uh, they were around the $300 mark. These prices are just rough from memory, so don't quote me on any of those prices. If people are super worried about it, I can get exact prices. Um, next thing, we ended up getting a new Warbro 460 fuel pump kit. Uh, obviously, we've got a brand new filter with it, new wiring. Um, and because his pump's been out of the car while well, his tank's been not running fuel for it for so long, and he is on straight E85, um, we just thought we may as well, and he's actually putting a new tank in, not to mention that as well. His R32 tank was very rusty, so he's replacing the tank, and I said, look, we'll put in a new fuel pump and just rule out any issues that may come from it. Um, we are cleaning everything going back into the motor, so we want to make sure we're getting nice, clean fuel pumping through the system. Next thing we have, obviously a timing belt. I'm not going to pull it out of the packaging just yet, and all the other bits and pieces that come along with it. So we've got whatever this one is, that is the tensioner bearing, that will just be an idler bearing, and then the little spring, 
that sits on the tensioner bearing. For those of you who have done RB timing belts, you know what I'm talking about. So that's all as one big kit. Um, next things we've got, obviously, a water pump and thermostat. Um, water pump we're doing just as general maintenance and thermostat I always like to do whenever the motor's been out of the car and it's not fully submerged in water. Um, we just don't want that to be causing a problem and genuine from Nissan that cost $30 to buy through Kudos so it kind of goes without saying while you've done this much work spend $30 and just replace it. Um, water pump was on the cheaper side I think it was around 100 bucks. Um, it obviously isn't a genuine one uh, but it is a RB26 DETT one which they're all the exact same pump anyway but that's just what it's been listed as so that'll work fine for us and like you can see on the side listed as an RB26 but works for 20 and everything anyway so I've got those two parts we've got another Franklin performance slash engineering bit and this is a rocker cover dress up kit so again if you watch the first video on me going through the car um, the rocker cover bolts on um, RBs have little rubber insulators. Over time, they just wear and crack away, and the bolts aren't actually long enough to bolt down the rocker cover without that insulator intact. And it was actually a lot cheaper for us to buy this kit. And it's a very fancy dress up kit. So you've got all the Allen key bolts, which is really nice to the eye, nice and appealing. And we've got billet insulators rather than rubber and little rubber, I guess, I don't know, circle, gasket, o-ring things. Um, and I'd assume that would, it'll either be on the top or the bottom to not scratch the rocker cover or to not scratch the billet. Um, I'd assume it's probably gonna be on the top, so um, we'll have one of those on the bottom, one of those in the middle, and then a bolt straight through. Um, Bryce was also missing a few bolts. It just worked out so much cheaper to do it this way. Um, and this kit was about $100 as well. Um, our final bit to the puzzle, I'll just move everything else out of the way, is this big Nissan box here. And the big Nissan box is actually a complete gasket kit for the RV20. Very, very hard to get your hands on. This is the last kit that Kudos had available. So very, very handy as it comes with every gasket for the motor. Um, you've got your intake collector gasket, um, which we'll be needing. Um, comes with a OEM head gasket, which is what we're going to be using for this build. So going for the OEM head gasket and using ARP studs. Um, you've got your valve stem seals and an oil seal in there, which I assume would be probably for one of the cam seals or something similar. Um, we've got a rear main seal and two more cam seals. Uh, the two cam seals and front main seal in RVs are the same, so that's what I'd assume those three are going to be. Um, comes with a little container, quite a big container actually, of Nissan gasket goo, which is handy. Uh, obviously exhaust manifold gasket, both rocker cover gaskets. Our half moons are sitting in that box there. Um, and we've got a little bag of gaskets here. So looks like we've got plenty of bits and pieces. We've got turbo. Um, all the turbo gaskets, we've got an oil pump gasket, we've got heaps of crush washers for turbo lines, we've got, um, what else do we have in there? We've got oil filter housing gaskets, um, and a lot of other little bits and pieces, I can see a blow off valve gasket in there as well, so, um, and then a the little piece that runs off the factory turbo which you won't be needing, but a lot of loading gaskets in here, every single gasket that you'll need to do a rebuild on this motor is here. Um, pretty much the only thing that won't be used will be uh, a few of the crush washers, obviously, because his turbo doesn't use the crush washers. Um, blow-off valve won't be used. Um, we might be using some of the turbo ones, depending on what's in the car. Um, I'll have to double check, and there'll be a few little seals and stuff that won't be used. Um, I'll probably go on ahead and replace this oil filter housing gasket, because we have it, may as well do it. Oil pump, I'm not going to worry about. I won't be changing that. I don't want to pull the oil pump off. Um, intake gaskets we will definitely be doing and also is the main intake gasket sitting underneath the head gasket down there so really really good kit um, and this was the other expensive part this was about three hundred dollars right out of the bat it was about six hundred seven hundred dollars just for a gasket kit with studs and everything else added up and i think it came out 
of testing, including the Franklin kit, which is the only part that didn't come from kudos. This was all around the fourteen hundred dollar mark. Um, we'll drive pump with about two fifty for the complete kit. So, um, yeah, it's, I guess expensive. Kind of cheap, depending on who you ask. Um, I think it's more on the cheap side for what's actually being done to the motor when you look at all the parts we have here and what you're actually getting out of it. I think it's a really good deal, but. That's all the parts there. I just thought to make this video for anyone that is interested in that side of things. Um, obviously I'll pack it all back up now so I can get it all ready to go back in the car. But if you have any more questions about the parts I'm using, why I'm using them, anything like that, um, leave a comment down below and I'll happily answer. Um, if you're wanting to know about pricing or anything like that, give Kudos Motorsports a call in Arundel and they'll be more than happy to help you out. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.